I'm Alex Weathersby, and this is my web series review for Much Ado About a Web Series. This is a mockumentary-style series about the matchmaking schemes of a recording studio staff and their boy band clients. It's based off Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing, which happens to be one of my favorite, probably my favorite uh, comedic Shakespeare play. Things I really liked about the series were I really liked the modernization. There's a bunch of songs and letters in the original text that are uh, able to be integrated into this modernization purely because they're from a recording studio. Claudio's song to Hero and the letters that Benedict and Beatrice write to each other are made into actual songs. I thought it was really, really funny. I loved all the acting. All the actors did a great job pulling off their characters. Everybody had really great comedic timing. I really liked the talking head segments especially. I thought that was a good way to kind of have the characters express themselves or explain themselves without it constantly being explaining the situation to other characters. It provided for some really great comedy moments. That was really well done. Some things that I didn't like where I felt that I personally really love Beatrice and Benedict's back and forth. That's one of my favorite elements of the original text. And a lot of web series tend to focus very heavily on that. Whereas here, I felt that the hero Claudio matchmaking thing was given a lot more of a focus. And therefore, the Beatrice and Benedict relationship didn't seem quite as um, developed as it maybe could have been. Of course, this also plays into factors like how many episodes they have, how much time they have, if the characters have history, which these characters do, they're all from the same hometown. I just felt like I would have liked a little bit more of Beatrice and Benedict bonding before Hero's humiliation happens, because then it seems like most of the relationship came specifically out of um, that particular element. Uh, some of the sh way the shots cut from talking heads to the more documentary style shots, so shots where characters are talking directly to the camera to shots of the actual action happening, I felt that some of that was really quick and a little bit messy. Similarly to that, there were some audio issues. Some of it was very quiet. There was a lot of static in the background. When you go from indoors to outdoors, uh, there's a lot of hissing in outdoor shots, which is just a good learning note for when you're trying to replicate that style later. If it's a series that you're doing on a smaller budget than maybe you wish you had, or a series that you're doing in a really short period of time, those are all learning experiences. And so when you see things maybe you can do better, then those are elements that I usually do see fixed when I watch multiple web series done by the same production company. I usually see issues like that smoothed out over time because they end up with either a bigger budget or they've learned from those things. They've learned what works and what doesn't. Another thing that I thought was really interesting that maybe I didn't particularly like was Hero's humiliation scene is done in such a way that I think really pushes the envelope maybe too far to the point where not only is she humiliated in all of her friends and family, she's humiliated in front of people with whom she has a strong professional relationship in a music industry or an entertainment industry that's a very very difficult thing to hold on to and then when you lose it it does have serious repercussions i just felt that the way they made it so public in this particular series made it very very difficult to sympathize with claudio and to respect him and to want them to get back together because the way he humiliated her was arguably the most devastating way that i've ever seen in a web series adaptation she has a panic attack, she's crying, she's inconsolable. That definitely affected how I felt about Claudio realizing he was in the wrong and apologizing later. It just felt like it had, he'd gone too far to ever really come back from it. I would watch the series if you really like literary adaptations or literary inspired series. Uh, those are very popular and there's a lot of them. It's a very saturated market. So if you really like those, I would definitely watch the series. Um, if you like romantic comedies or plots that are informed by romance, this is a really good one. A lot of the plot is based on get, trying to get two characters to have a bickering relationship together. And then if you really like quippy dialogue, you like fast-paced dialogue, this definitely is a lot of that, and the actors handle it very, very well. So if you like that, then you'll really enjoy this series. If you prefer vlog-style series to mockumentary, because you feel you get to know certain characters on a much more personal level, you might want to try another web series. This particular story has been done multiple times by different production companies, so maybe you want to look at another adaptation. 
If you dislike the Hero and Claudio as a pairing, I know that's kind of a point of contention among people who really like this text. A lot of people think that Claudio should be redeemed, that he's a victim in this just as much as Hero is, and so he can't really be blamed, and other people feel that Claudio is just a horrible, jealous, possessive person, and this was going to happen anyway. If you just have a lot of personal feelings with the Hero and Claudio relationship that are really negative, this might not be the series for you. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you have a web series recommendation for me, then definitely put it in the comments. I'm always looking for new things to watch, and yeah, I'll see you next time.